just about to board to get on our flight to Dushanbe. So it should be fun. We're gonna arrive super early in the morning, but we have an Airbnb book, so it should be good. How, what about you, Cohen? How do you feel about going to Tajikistan? No, I think it should be a lot of fun. Hopefully. Hopefully, we can go swimming, and we can go hiking, and we can eat some food. Alright, so a little bit of background of why we're here in Tajikistan. Uh, the main reason is because when I was a kid, um, my parents were here, worked here, and so I grew up here for part of my life. Come back once about five years ago. How to show me? Go on. Yeah. Where is? Where is? Who's that? By half an hour. Half an hour, sure. Oh, thirsty, eh? Whoa. Let me just say hello to the cow. Hello. Moloko, Moloko, gift. Wrapped him. Wrapped him. And and so yeah, now we're back. That was five, six years ago. So now we're back, and we're just come to check it out, see what Tajikistan's like. Hopefully, get on the map a little bit. It's a place people should come. It's such a cool place. That <laughs> um, especially to visit uh, mountains here are un unbelievable. Foods awesome. People are awesome. Tajiks are so hospitable. But anyways, yeah, back to this vlog and our first day here. Yeah, the morning of that and blah blah blah. So here we go. I made it stop sitting in this airport. <laughs> <laughs> so we're almost there. It's been about seven years for me. It's been my life <laughs> since I've been to Tajikistan. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Dishambe, where the local time is 2.35 in the morning. And that's at the right here, 60 degrees. We made it off. Airport's super nice now. Unbelievable. Alright. Airport looks nice now. It's good to be back. This is it, this is our apartment in Tajikistan. We slept here last night actually because there's only an AC in here, but it was super nice. This is a quick little apartment tour before we uh, go outside, get SIM cards, get find a cafe to work at, because that's we actually have a lot of work to do before we can even see the city or Tajikistan. But let me show you the rest of this sweet little Airbnb that we found here. This is the kitchen. Clearly, we got in at 4 a.m. last night, so my suitcase is unpacked. But, little table here. Um, 
microwave, oven, everything, everything you need. Super cool. There's a bathroom right here. I'll show you the other bedroom. Actually, there's, uh, there's the shower right there. Yeah, so this is the shower where you can wash. Washing machine right there, near. Hot water, good water pressure, which is always great. This is the bedroom, master bedroom. So we got a nice bed. Nice mirror, come on, do your makeup. A great vanity. <laughs> uh, the only thing was that uh, it was actually a little bit too warm in here last night just because I think all the windows were shut for a while here. So we're going to open those up. Hopefully everything will be good tomorrow night. Let's see this window. So we did walk through that subway yesterday. Yeah. And sister's on this side and then out there. Yeah. All right, so that's the end of the apartment tour. We're now gonna go out and see if we can get some SIM cards and then find a cafe to work at, because we got work to do. Mm. Here, we, I mean, not in Tajikistan, we don't have work, but yeah. we have other work we have to do. <laughs> Here we go. you want to please don't be polite because i like your attitude oh this camera hey we're just gonna get some headphones might not film that much today just because we gotta get to the coffee shop at work but first things first centers oh, our bodies meet i can feel the tension move us into the next dimension let's just let our so bodies hot. be true all right, so we got our SIM cards. Switch to the phone. This is Rudiki Park over here. We can go check that out later. I bet it's gonna be packed at night here. Overall, Tajikistan. Overall, Tajikistan in like the eight hours we've been here. Dushanbe, they got these cool uh, things here. It's interesting being somewhere I can't read anything. Oh, I didn't think of that. Otherwise, I think the closest place I can compare it to that I've been is probably Ho Chi Minh City. We're coming up to somewhere really famous, Somoni Statue. So we're leaving the statue. Back in the elevator. Back to where we started from. Oh, that noise? Home sweet home. Now we're about to go to a little grocery store, see if we can buy some food, because we have nothing. You know the city so well already. <laughs> <laughs> it's so small. I know exactly where I'm going. <laughs> Underground. Coming out of the abyss, we did it. This place has always been an art store, <laughs> and it still is today. This street is so famous, I used to walk on this all the time. Now we're walking together. Got some non, it's not fresh, but non. <laughs> Pretty famous. Tajikistan staple. Feels about right. Weird shape though. It wasn't oval like this before. What shape was it before? Round. A uh, circle. <laughs> Tastes like non. <laughs> I haven't eaten in so long. Exactly how you remember it. Mmm. 
Man, staple food, this is how I lived off. I should find some like cream cheese. Classic Nescafe gold. I don't know if I'm gonna ever edit this video together. <laughs> our first day in Dushanbe. Yeah, our first day in Dushanbe. It was exhausting. We got here at four in the four in the morning, so it's been about uh how long has it been? Twelve hours. It's been about twelve hours. Pretty exhausted. First impressions being back. Not too much has changed. I mean, there are some cooler restaurants and cafes now than before. Uh, I haven't been, I haven't gone outside the city yet, so I don't know what it's like outside. Barely went around the city. Trees are bigger. Trees are bigger. But, yeah, I mean, still, kind of feels the same. Tajik doesn't seem like it's changed that much. <laughs> Yeah, Dushanbe, it's fun to be back. Alright, that's the end. The end. How's <laughs> the How does it feel being at Merve? I don't know. <laughs> well, we're a little bit confused because we sat down at a table that is already full of food. Um, otherwise, we're just waiting for our donors. They're gonna feed us. <laughs> Until the sun goes down? <laughs> Until the sun sets because it's Ramadan. He asked me if I wanted an hour later, and I was like, now, but no one else is eating. <laughs> we have 15 minutes, though. 15 minutes. We can do it.